So let's just drive a bit. Welcome to a quick look at a Seta Corsa in VR. Now, you might think that's nothing out of the ordinary. A Seta Corsa is supporting VR for quite a while now. Um, and you're right that. But if, like me, you had the Vive, you had to use Revive to get it running on your headset because it only supported the Oculus Rift out of the box. But today, a patch drop that added proper Vive support. And um, yes, I'm not. I'm, I'm playing this without using Revive, which is really nice. I mean, not that that it was much of a hassle to get Revive going, but. Um, yeah, now it's even easier to set it up for the Vive. Uh, one thing I immediately noticed is it does feel a tad smoother than it did on the Oculus Rift or on Revive. So I think there's a little bit of optimization going. And the sense of scale uh, is much improved because um, Oculus games that, are, that run with Revive on the Vive usually feel a tad too small. The scale just feels a tiny bit off. Not enough that you that you consciously notice it. Um, but still, it's, that's, uh, I think, due to the difference in how the headsets um, render their stereoscopic view. Um, so that's nice. It runs a tad smoother, at least subjectively don't have any metrics or data to back it up. It looks a bit a, a bit more realistic because the car feels less tiny than it would have under um, under the Revive. So I'm really glad they did it. And it, it just works out of the box like it did before. The only thing that they should do, but I think I read on Reddit that there are proper reasons why it's not possible at least not now, is doing the UI in VR because it's really, really um, inconvenient to have to uh, put on and off the headset uh, between the races. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice patch. I think it's version 1.15. And another nice thing about the patches, oops, that one, I misshifted there. They added this beauty, which you might know as the Mazda Miata stateside. And the Europeans and the Japanese like to call it the MX-5. They finally added a car that was promised a while ago, but then seemingly forgotten first-generation MX-5 with uh, pop-up headlights. So, oh, I can't remember where they put the... Oh, yes! They, they pop up! They do pop up! Oh, Vive support and pop-up headlights. Best racing game ever. Hands down. So, I'm nothing more of use to say then I might just go on driving a bit. Because this car feels so nice to drive. I mean, it's, it's, it's not the quickest. Um, it's, not, it's not the quickest, but it's so fun to drive. Also, I think, if I read the patch notes correctly, they added a new Porsche for the Porsche pack. Uh, some 2017 RSR kind of thing. And I do like the Porsches, but honestly, my heart beats for those little low-powered uh, cars. Because, as a wise man once posted in the Live for Speed forums, say I don't know who anymore, it's more fun to drive a slow car quickly than to drive a quick car slowly. And on that, I'm gonna say